Julie Oakfield. I go to Lowell High School in San Francisco. Um, I have so many arguments for why football should be banned. Um, some of them serious, some of them not. And I've decided to choose with why it should be legally banned. Um, as mentioned before, it is physically harmful to human beings. Um, the game itself, but also there's another way. Um, if any of you are part of change.org, you realize there was a petition a couple years ago to stop human child trafficking at the Super Bowl. This does happen. There are children as young as 13 years old who are captured since football is mainly admired by men. Men get crazy these football games, they get so excited, so pumped, and then crazy things like this happen. The, the trafficking is very popular at the Super Bowl. And the average life, once these people are brought into human trafficking, they live for about seven more years. They die around age 20 from venereal diseases or being eaten. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Some. Also. Okay. Some less serious ones. The average cost of the stadium is up to sixty-eight million dollars, and I think money can be more wisely spent. I mean, it's just a football stadium. There are more important things in this world, really. Respect the speaker. Okay. So another very serious thing. A lot of the jerseys and sports equipment used by um, football players and people who admire the sport are made in sweatshops. That's just plain, simple. Um, Nike, Adidas. I mean, seriously, you're abusing children for these football jerseys. Um, it's a violent game. It teaches children the wrong kind of ideas. Um, perpetuates pointless gender differences. I mean, football is like one of the only sports which is mostly exclusively for men. And it's just ridiculous. I mean, gender differences should be only in medical offices or the bedroom. Seriously, it's ridiculous. Um, Football also cultures meaningless rivalries. I mean, people get beaten up in bars just because they support a different football team or something. This is ridiculous. I mean, we need to do something about this. Um, also, as um, was mentioned before, like certain there are certain sponsors of football, like beer, um, fried chicken, things like that. There are strong connections to unhealthy food and video games, which is also not very good for our children. Like, you know. Um, Encouraging them to go eat fast food, to play video games all day long. Um, also, um, everyone mentioned, like, yes, there are some football players who spend a lot of time at practices. They get really high G uh, GPAs. And while some people think that, you know, playing a sport, like, relieves some of the stress, maybe, I think being in a sport is, creates just as much stress, because you're just stressed to do so well in everything and to succeed, to be admired by your parents and your colleagues, all that kind of